weekly phone interview on Blitz as we're joined with a name you may be familiar with, uh, Caleb Holbrook, a Dawson County Tigers uh, graduate, recently drafted by the Dodgers in the 2013 MLB draft. Caleb, thanks for taking time to be with us on the show. Thank you guys for having me. And we appreciate it. Now, first off, congrats on being drafted in the 35th round of the, of the draft. That's some kind of feeling. Uh, what, uh, where were you and what were you doing when you found out the Dodgers took you 1,054th overall? I was actually uh, about to play a baseball game in Torrington, Connecticut. I'm playing in the Futures League. It's a collegiate baseball league out of Connecticut. And I was actually about to start a game when I got the phone call. So basically I got the phone call and had to go out there and play a game. So uh, what kind of feeling was that, having to go out there knowing that, you know, your life had just changed completely? Um, it, it, was, it made it a lot harder. It, it was, like, it, at first it didn't seem real, and then the, the more the game went on, it just kind of, it was starting to set in that, that I had just been drafted. So maybe it uh, took away some of your focus from that game, or was it, was it hard to kind of keep your attention focused on just that one game? Or Yes, sir, it was, uh, it was hard to <laughs> stay focused on task and trying to do my job. Yeah, I can imagine. So, yeah. Was there uh was there any indication in the days or weeks leading up to the draft that you might be drafted? Um what organizations were, were showing you some interest? Um basically the Dodgers I, I was sitting at home one day getting ready to come up to Connecticut and I saw a phone number from Los Angeles call me. And so I answered it and it was like the Dodgers scout, Logan White. He called and wanted to know if I wanted to come for a workout the next day. And I told him, yeah, of course. Just tell me what time, when and where, and I'll be there. Yeah. And so then he called the area scout, and the area scout called me after that and told me where it was. And it was at Woodward Academy the next morning, I think at like 8.30. Uh, that, how do you feel like that went when you uh, had to try out in front of them? Oh, it went good. Uh, I felt like I had a great day in front of them. I just, I felt like I was doing everything right, honestly. But did they give you any indication afterwards that, that you'd possibly be selected, or did they kind of just leave it up in the blue? Uh, I mean, after that, they just pretty much asked me where I was planning on going to school at, and that was about it. So they would stay in touch. And then as soon as I got up in Connecticut, it was like a week after that, mm -hmm. a couple of days before the draft, they called and wanted to verify all my information. I had a, I had a good idea then when they called and wanted to verify everything. Right. I still didn't know. They never they never told me that they were going to draft me or anything like that. Yeah, and you you had a, you had some pretty good success there at the collegiate level at South Georgia College as as a sophomore backstop. You hit three oh seven, a home run, twenty four RBI to go with your eleven doubles. Um, how much do you feel you've improved since your time at Dawson County High School? I think it's head over hills. I mean, just getting older and learning the game each and every day. You learn something new. You learn, like, different pitches, different counts, what you're probably going to see, oh, just all the different things. The more you get older, I mean, you get bigger and faster and stronger. And mm -hmm. You yep. just learn more about the game each and every day that you, you never really thought about in the, in the beginning. Yeah, now let's go back to those uh, glory days in high school for just a moment. What do you feel helped you prepare most for this time and situation that, that you learned from your time with the Tigers? Um, I mean, it was just something I'd always worked for. I mean, it's been a goal that I've always wanted to do. And, I mean, I'd always said, you know, I wanted to play pro ball. Mm -hmm. I had the opportunity to play. Now, when you were uh, selected by the Dodgers, what, what kind of support, this kind of goes into what you just said, what kind of support did you get from your family and friends, even your uh, teammates from South Georgia and former teammates from the Tigers? Uh, who are some people that we may be familiar with that, that reached out to you? Uh, I mean, everyone, basically, that I could think of. Everyone from high school that I knew, that I was decent friends with. I think I had, like, over 100 missed calls. Wow. <laughs> 100 tags. Yeah, it was, social media was blown up. Just everything. So you get uh, you get any calls or texts from Coach Pruitt over there, at Dawson? Um, he texted my dad. He knew I was. Yeah. I think he knew I was in the summer league up here. Yeah. So he texted my dad and congratulated him. But really, I, I didn't even know that I had been drafted. I was checking my phone right before the game, and my friend from South Georgia was calling me. Yeah. 
So I answered and he was calling to congratulate me, and I didn't really know what he was talking about. All right, now you mentioned, uh, this is the last question, then we'll let you go, but you, you mentioned you're in Connecticut right now playing in that summer league, uh, and, but you do have a lot of people wondering if, if you've made that decision yet, whether to return to South Georgia for your junior year or, or chase that dream into Major League Baseball. Um, have you made a decision at this point? Yes, sir, I've made a decision. I'm going to stick around and go to school, hopefully for another year. Wow, okay. That's great. And then uh, hopefully, you know, you're always going to have Major League Baseball there next year, too. Um, what what was the reaction from uh, the Dodgers when you let them know that? Um, I mean, they were... They had kind of told me they wanted to see me go for another year. Mm-hmm. They would take me again the next year, and I would go higher. Wow, well, that's pretty good. That's got to make you feel pretty good then, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, I just have to stay healthy and do the right things right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, Caleb, congrats on all your success, man. We wish you the best of luck as you pursue your uh, dream in collegiate baseball, and next year hopefully see you, uh, like you said, get drafted even higher in the draft. Well, thank you guys so much for having me. Thanks for your time, man. We appreciate it. All right. When we return, we'll be in the studio to wrap up this edition of Blitz.